So if you don't know by now that the media constantly lies deliberately with intent, man, that's like, I don't even know. Uh, that's like thinking Jinko jeans are still cool. It's just so dumb and out of touch with what's really going on. Now, many of you uh, know about the Yellow Vest protests, totally anti-establishment. And I've covered it extensively here on this channel. And it turns out that French 3TV has censored a photo here that says Macron leave. Macron get out in French. And on the left here, as you can see, it's the original photo. And then on the right, what did France 3TV do? They edited the part that said leave. We want you out. And it just says Macron. As if the Yellow Vest protesters <laughs> would be holding a sign apparently in support of Macron with it just saying Macron. Doesn't even really make sense. Yeah. They deliberately edited it out. And they had to admit it. They came out and they stated that they weren't trying to hide the sign. It was a human mistake. <laughs> we have identified the source and it will never happen again. That is such bullcrap. So it was a mistake. Whoops. <laughs> oh, whoopsie. Uh, just accidentally erased the part that said, leave, we want you out. I'm sorry, but there's no possible way this couldn't be deliberate. Do I really have to state that? Do I really have to go over? And they just... So not only do they censor it, they lie and say, oh, we didn't mean to do that. It was an honest mistake. <laughs> I mean, how could you not mean to do that? It's just so dumb. So yes, the media deliberately lies to you and then turns around and lies about it and says, we didn't do that deliberately. It was a mistake. And now, we have to be very, very skeptical. This happens a lot on the mainstream media. But, I mean, they're getting more sophisticated. And this is where it gets really scary. Now, it's really difficult, in, I, I would suppose. I'm not a technical graphics analyst or anything like that. But I would, I would suppose it's difficult to confirm whether or not this is really going on. But it definitely could be. And if it isn't, it definitely will be. You see all these photos right here? All these images? These are AI generations. These aren't real people. These faces were all created by artificial intelligence. And I'll leave links to this article here. It's a new AI algorithm called Vidya. And there's a video here of it as well and yes yes they can make video of these ai generated people that look 100 percent real i don't want to play it because of copyright issues so but but i'll leave links and you can look at this information yourself it's a new concept called style transfer rather than trying to copy and paste elements of different faces into Frankenperson, the system analyzes three basic styles, coarse, middle, and fine styles, and merges them apparently, or transparently, uh, into something completely new. And this algorithm can even make cars, bedrooms, and kittens. <laughs> I know, it is crazy. And it's all fake. None of it is real. God knows what they're really up to, how much they're really lying to us, and how far they're willing to go to perpetrate those lies and to manipulate us. I would suggest they're willing to go all the way. So, I'll leave links to all the information here. It's a strange world, and it's strange times, and they're only going to get stranger. I'll keep you posted. It's been press. As always, keep your head up, stay real, and no fear.